as uh, tension grew between, uh, between Japan and the United States, that we start a new, uh, what we call fitness training. So every, every so often we'd have to go make hikes through the city. It wasn't much territory for us to hike in. They did have a couple of parks. But most of the time, we just marched in the street, and we and we usually carried a heavy marching order, which was uh, all the the uh, the material you would need to live in the field. The band still just did its duty without interruption. We we continued to play our concert, but we made the marching order along with the with the rest of the troops. Um, one of the elite uh, characters of the Marine Corps in the old days was one Chesty Puller, which everybody knows, was the executive officer of the 2nd Battalion. And uh, each of the battalions had what they called a group of field music, which were drummers and buglers that performed their duties in addition to their service within the battalion. But for parades and ceremonies, the buglers and drummers joined the band to make a pretty sizable organization on the street. A very impressive one. And people that are still well remember it, I think, particularly the ones that were children are now uh, can recall that. So we always put it that the band helped uh, the regiment put its best foot forward to, for America's presence in the Far East. 